Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace. Peace. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot, and I'm coming through to you with a gratitude post. Um, typically, you're used to me doing tarot readings for the Gemini or just general readings for the collective and also tarot in my life segments, which I am growing um, more comfortably with doing, um, which will be a members only perk where I tap into the tarot and show you how I use tarot in my life. Well, this particular video is going to be available for all. My hair is very heavy. It keeps leaning to the side. don't know why it's doing that, but I'm going to let it ride until I can. Um, but today has just been an amazing day. It's Saturday. I think it's like June 6th, 5th, 7th, 6th. I don't know. I'm posting it today. It's June something. It's Saturday. It's not the 12th yet. So it's the Saturday before the 12th and then the 12th is my birthday. So... I just wanted to come on and just show some gratitude. Like today I pulled some cards to talk about, um, to see what to expect today, possible energies for today. And um, the main card, the overall energy was the 10 of cups. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, it's going to be relaxed, spending time with people that I care about, possibly running into people that just reminds me to be careful with myself, nurturing energy, just you know, building relationships or rekindling old ones or just working with family, just being comfortable and just enjoying the people around me. And today has been just that. Um, I woke up really early. I did not meditate today, which I'm just recalling. I'll probably do it before I go to bed tonight. But um, I'm working on meditating more consistently. It's not something that I do every day, every day I must admit, but it is the goal to do so. Um, I woke up, I um, did my morning um, routine, did the tarot reading for you, uploaded that, didn't drink, uh, didn't eat breakfast, should have drank it though, right? Um, had a glass of wine for lunch and then now I'm about to go treat myself to get something to eat. But I also went to my incense man to go get some more incense and um, body oils and things that I love. And I met a young man there. I'm saying young man because I guess I'm old as fuck now. I'm like a thousand years old. My soul is hella old. Been here for many, many, many generations. But I met a man, a young man that's younger than me. And he had such great energy. Although he looked like a stereotype, he had amazing energy, was very respectful. And we had a really nice, long conversation. Um, we ended up exchanging numbers, not on the strength of him dating me. I, I put the bottom line on top and let him know that I'm not interested in being anyone significant other at this time, but I am interested in being friends and, you know, being there for my friends. And I take friendships very, um, um, friendships are there to me. So if he plans on trying try me and try me and in my language is um trying to cross the line of friendship or trying to hint that he's attracted to me or making me feel uncomfortable i will ghost him because i'm telling you straight up that i'm not interested in you if you'd like a real friend because real friends don't come by very easily we could build a friendship so we exchanged numbers and that was that now before that happened oh and he also walked me to my car which was really really cool so i'll tell y'all more about that as well so before we left my friend's incense spot because that's where we met he saw me standing there i thought he was there to buy some incense or something he was just there because i was there so that was funny as hell too so um this lady was there i didn't even recognize her being there she was um she must have walked up in the midst of me conversing with this um, young man that I had just met. And she called me over because I'm always interested to talk to people from different walks of life. And regardless of to what you have to say, as long as you don't have a combative energy, you have an open energy, it's cool, calm, collective, as long as you don't try to touch me because I don't like people touching me without my permission. It's just a me thing. Um, <laughs> we'll talk more about that in another video. But she called me over and she was like, can I, can I talk to you for, can I talk to you for a minute? 
And I was like, of course, she's a feeble old looking lady. She looks like she has a lot of wisdom, really long. I think her head was covered and she was like really covered. So she looked like she was from the Middle East, not skin tone wise, but like based, religious wise, she seemed like she was Muslim. So when she called me over, she was like, you know who the Supreme Woman is or something she said and um, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then I didn't answer because that's subjective to whatever you believe. I I believe that I am a superior being, but I don't compare myself to other women or other beings to make myself feel superior. I feel like we all have the power within us to be great. We all have the power in a, within, within us to accomplish whatever we'd like to accomplish. We are all gods and goddesses. Well, some of us believe that we are. Others, you know, lost their power along the way. Not my problem. Anyway, she was saying that in my ear. So I'm like, okay, I don't know where she's going with this. I want to get to my car. That's where my wine is. I want to take a sip. I want to get back on my little, my little mission. Because I had something going on with my car. It's Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to find somebody to do it. Boom, 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 boom. Anyways, listening to her. So um, do you know, you know, who is the supreme being? Da, da, da. So she was like, I waited. Offered silence. One, two, three. Then she touched me and she said the black woman. When she touched me, I didn't feel any electricity. And usually when I feel electricity, that means that I've met someone who is on my frequency. When I don't feel anything, I've met someone who has no in ill intentions. When I feel butterflies, I've met someone who should not be fucking touching me and gonna get my timer wrong and they might hear something about themselves. You know what I'm saying? In a very nice, cool, calm, collected way. But she touched me and I felt nothing. So I was like, okay. You know, I looked down, I looked up, said a little prayer, like three seconds, God help me. Boom. So she goes on and she says, when you, a woman is supposed to fully clothe herself. This is what I have on. And this is how I, I dress on some days when I may go to the beach or it's super hot outside, we're in Florida. When I look in the mirror and I look at myself, I see a goddess. I see someone who is empowered. I see someone who looks good, who feels good, who wants to help myself to be the best version of myself so that I can keep on attracting beings who want to, the same thing. Or I can encourage someone to feel good in, the, in their skin just as I do mine. I've never looked at anyone. Well, I don't want to say I've never. That's not true. But in this time being, um, in this presence that I'm in, I don't look at people and go, oh, well, you look like this, so you must be like this because you should have seen the dude I was talking to. I could have said that in my mind, but I didn't. He walked up to me, he was respectful. So what, he had 24 gold teeth in his mouth. He was handsome, he was respectable, and he knew who I, I was before I even opened my mouth. And I'm not talking about knowing my name, I'm talking about knowing my energy. So he knew what I was on. So for this older woman to... Um, go into a spiel of talking about the way how, how I was clothed and she said I can't remember what she said verbatim but in so many words she was saying you know you are the black woman so so I should represent myself as such and be more clothed and she doesn't want me to take offense and then she touched me again but I felt nothing so I knew that one, she had no ill intentions. She genuinely wanted me to take on her belief. Um, and two, this was her belief. And I cannot be upset with her for that. The only thing that I was in within right to be upset with is one, you wasted my goddamn time because I was trying to get to my car to my wine. And two, you touched me without my permission, but you ain't know that. You're older, you're from another generation. They used to, you know, touching people and invade other people's space and, you know, putting their, projecting their beliefs on other people. That's what older folks do from some generations. So I get that. I'm empathetic with that. I released that as quickly as it came because the, the, the God in me is there and present. So when she went with her spiel about the the job uh, or the um what am i looking for there's a word the presence of the the black woman and the, the archetype of what we represent and what we should stand for and whom we should attract based on how we dress so i said okay i'm just gonna have to interject you right there i said i respect your belief um, I imagine that you're Muslim, you, you're covered from head to toe. I respect you, Aslam alaikum. I said, but that is not my belief. I said, I believe that I am comfortable in my skin, which is why I am wearing clothes that exposes my skin. And actually, vitamin D is good for the skin. 
So I'm talking to her and I'm being somewhat sarcastic, but I understand that she's not on the wavelength to even take on the sarcasm. So I could cut that off as well. So then she went on to say, you know, sister, I just wanted to talk to you about that. And I said, I appreciate you for telling me about this, but I hope you don't expect me to change. I said, I believe in what I believe and my belief is to live and let live. I said, I respect your belief, although I respectfully disagree with it. Good day, sister. And she was like, okay. I was like, okay. And then we left. So then now the dude that I just met, you know what I'm saying? I just met him. So he's seeing me um, going through this exchange with this um, with this Muslim sister. And he was like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's okay. I was like, you know, in life, you're not always going to meet people that are accepting of what you do. And I've realized that we've come, we're in a time where we are in a melting pot in the world coming from different ethnicities, different cultures, different races, different ideals, different, different ideals. I bit my tongue. God, good God. I hope it's not bleeding. It's not. Um, different everything, which I think is amazing because you can learn something from someone, from another culture, from another ethnicity, from another perspective. I'm always open to learn because I know with learning, I can grow. But what what gets onto my skin is, and not even what the older the elder said to me, because I respect it. You know, if I was someone who was insecure, I would probably be receptive to what she said and went home and changed clothes. But I am a black goddess and I am very much in tune with who I am. And I know that the clothes that I wear or not does not define who I am, but more so is an adornment that enhances how I feel. I feel good in my clothes. It's just something to cover up because the government won't let me walk naked because that would be my next way of living which is to be completely naked i love being naked i enjoy it now if a man oh and she did mention something about you know you attract the you attract a certain kind of man when you dress that way because she must have seen me with the dude who had a whole bunch of gold teeth but the first thing that that black man said to me when he saw me was i stopped because i've never seen a woman with locks like yours like a black woman that just has no makeup on and locks like yours. And another black man was standing next to me. He was like, you don't wear no makeup, do you? I said, I have on eyeliner, actually. He was like, that don't count. Anyway, but that wasn't the dude that I was talking about. Do what it goes. He stopped because I had free form locks and he saw something in me. He didn't see my clothes. I mean, yeah, it's sexually appealing. I get it. It might've made his dick jump. That is none of my business. Furthermore, he was respectful. He respected me. He came to me with God energy. And this woman has no clue what or whom she was talking to because if she did, she would have approached me in a different manner. Matter of fact, she just wouldn't approach me at all. I respect you if you want to be completely clothed. I respect you if you want to be completely naked. In the United States, you might get arrested for indecent exposure. By all means, do you. But let's let's commune on living and let live and i pulled the queen of wands energy today i also pulled the ten of cups and i pulled a few other cards but those cards stood out for me because i knew it was going to be an energy of just being around people in community and i love community i love conversing with people i love learning about people and their minds and their thoughts and what gets them to those perspectives and what they've been through or what are they going through and that 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 and the third and it helps me to understand the world around me better. So today I challenge you to just live and let live. You might see someone that looks a certain way and you have no clue how they can be of assistance to you, which brings me to my next point. So I get in my car, um, dude walks me to my car. Um, we had exchange numbers. He told me he loved my energy. He saw something on my eye, like, like eye boogers or something. And he was like, you have something on your eye. And I'm like, thank you God for telling me that. So I wiped it out or whatever, looked in the mirror and wiped it out. And to myself, I'm thinking, yeah, he's a friend that I can have. I'm like, woe be on to the person that sees something on my face and don't say shit and have me walk around looking crazy. I respect people that could say things to some someone else that would help them even if for they think for a second that it might make them feel uncomfortable. But I also know I projected an energy of someone who does not mind being told about myself or being encouraged even if it's something that I may not want to hear. And he felt comfortable saying something to me like, yo, something is out of place. Let me show you, you're not perfect. And I love that. I love people like that. 
I even love that lady for telling me how she felt, even though I respectfully disagreed. So today I challenge you, if you have something to say, say it with respect and don't expect to get the response that you want because everyone will not receive what you are saying with grace. But I practice receiving things with grace. I practice living in, in, in my purpose and living in the moment and living and let live and just being happy with who I am and embracing the world for being diverse. And that's just my life and that's just my that's just my skill. Oh, that's it. Cookie cutter clean. That's it. That's me. I'm gonna let my hair fall down because it keep pulling on my it keep pulling on my on my neck. So I just wanted to, to tap in with a tarot in my life segment to tell y'all about that because this is how I live my life. This is me. This is your tarot reader. This is me. Cool, calm, collected, up close and personal. This is me. More videos like this will be coming. Um, I'll be on location with my camera. You'll see how I interact with people, um, how I do tarot readings on the spot sometimes. When I travel, I'll bring you on some of my adventures. Not all of them. Some of them is, are too sacred to be recorded. But I will have a group um, um, of specific videos for members only to tap in to get access to that energy. And I trust that it will inspire you to do the same in your life because my whole message is just to live and let live and to become the best version of yourself. And, and that is, that's magnetic. Living unapologetically, not disrespectfully, and respectfully accepting the fact that sometimes you will hear things that you do not want to hear. And you do not have to internalize that because it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with who you are becoming as far as being the strongest version of yourselves and knowing that everyone will always say what you want to hear and that is completely fine. That is completely okay. Be you. You won't be attractive to everyone. You won't be wearing the clothes that everyone would like. You won't be wearing the most expensive clothes. You won't have the most trendy friends. You won't have the most bougie friends. Sometimes you care. You don't care about having the most expensive things. You might like living your life frugal. You might love like going to little cheap restaurants, but that makes you happy. You might like expensive restaurants. No one should make you feel uncomfortable because you like to spend your money a certain kind of way live and let live here at tell them tribe tarot we live and we let live i will always encourage you to live in your purpose that will always be my message to you no matter what reading i give for you and i hope that you can take this message and apply it to your life as you see fit so i'm gonna pull a card to close this thing out yeah i know that was a lot to take in i know what i'm saying i wish i knew what day it was for real. i think it's june 7th it might be June 8th. Wait, okay, 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, today's the 9th, I think. Saturday, June 9th. Saturday, June 9th. Sunday, June 10th. Monday is the... Oh, wait, no. Is Monday the 12th? I don't know. Anyways, put whatever today... When you see this video post, put today's date in the comments. If it's Saturday, June, the Saturday before June 12th, whatever that Saturday is. And my birthday's on June 12th, so y'all can tell me happy early birthday if you want. You can send me some thanks. You can send me a dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars. Buy me a drink, support the channel, click like. Clicking like and sharing the videos to your social media networks, that helps my channel. And it helps you as well because the more you share it, the more it builds my momentum and the more videos I create because I'm only human. Sometimes I get this discouraged too. So it's a push in the right direction. Like I'm clicking like for you, Cherokee. I'm sharing the video for you, Cherokee. I'm dropping a comment and I'm saying hello because I know you love it when I say hello, Cherokee. <laughs> Crazy, deranged. That might be me sometimes. I appreciate y'all so much. You know I'm a Gemini because you know, you know I'm a Gemini. Anyway, Spirit, please guide me with the guided messages for the collective. I'm going to pull one card for you and give you some words of encouragement before we close this tarot in my life video out. All right, so let me go ahead and pull a message that someone needs to hear. Doesn't matter. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Doesn't matter what your sun sign is. Doesn't matter if your mutual sign, cardinal sign. Doesn't matter. So let's see. Maybe like she is crazy. Uh, the star card. Wishing. Oh, and she is naked, honey. Oh, I hope y'all don't get flagged for that. Mm-hmm. She's going to start cutting titties and coochie and all that. But anyways, 
This is a message for someone who needs encouragement in times when they may feel despair from things falling apart or people like today saying things that you won't necessarily expect people to say to you because you're like, why are you saying that to me? You don't really know me like that. And if you're weak enough in the spirit, it will be internalized and it will affect you negatively. But the star card is here to show you that you can overcome anything by pouring into yourself and reminding yourself that you are powerful. You are light. You are power. You are a bad motherfucker that don't take shit from nobody. That came from them fake ass Jamaicans and cool runnings, I think. And I'm Jamaican, by the way, Jamaican and Guyanese. Well, I was born in New York. My mama Jamaican, my daddy Guyanese. So I kind of got it all in me. But anyways, the star card, ladies and gentlemen, it's saying to believe in yourself, believe in what you have going on. Believe that when shit fall apart, better things come together. And it's not the end of the damn world if things fell apart in the first place. Because sometimes things need to fall apart for you to realize that it wasn't the thing for you take what you learn and apply it you don't go through things in life just to go through things in life you are experiencing things for a reason so live on purpose so you can see the reasoning that way you can elevate from the bullshit that you're growing from yeah okay so i love y'all for vibing with a goddess you know what i'm saying i promise to do more sit-ups so i can have abs in my next video but until then drop a comment press thanks to send me some birthday love june 12th is my birthday i'ma be like years old but i'm like a thousand years old a thousand ish you know what i'm saying black don't crack got one gray hair on the side we ain't gonna talk about that and i'll see you on the next one love and light tribe